Hey tubers, this is Pat Jordan coming to you from the Grain Ghetto in Illinois. Phage, phage, it means eater. Bacteriophage means bacteria eater. As far as I know, there are only a few people on the net talking about the only important topic in the world. Jennifer Lake speaks of them. Then there is the dude that calls them Jewish nanomachines of death. Carl Zimmer, who has some interesting data but appears to be part of the problem. And then Lawrence Broxmeyer, who I accord genius status. And then there's me. According to Zimmer, phages outnumber and outweigh all life forms on the surface of the planet. And you didn't even know they were there. Well, not knowing and not believing are two different things because there's a meme to disbelieve that Viri even exist. But that's another video. Felix D'Arell was using phages to actually cure disease. His words, not mine. So Eli Lilly bought out the research and quietly put it away because by 1930, the U.S. corporation was using technology developed from entities that supposedly don't exist to create, well, Yehudi nanomachines of death. Molecular biology was born from the study of bacteriophages and with it, biological weapons. Russia, on the other hand, continued to use them through the 1950s to cure their words, not mine, all manner of diseases and little paper packets of things that supposedly don't exist were sold over the pharmacy counter. Today there are startup companies revisiting what could have changed the world overnight in the early 1900s because the toxic poisons called antibiotics simply mutated stronger bacteria to the point where bacteria can now eat streptomycin as a food source. But the U.S. corporation involvement with phages from the days of Cold Spring Harbor, the home of eugenics, was to create bioweapons. Gene therapy is based on the use of viral phages that don't exist in one of those promising attempts to remove cancer. The first trial was a success. The patient died. At least he didn't have cancer anymore. So given the background of Cold Spring Harbor, eugenics, biowarfare, and rewriting genes, I don't have any reason to think that these modern companies are making a product to cure dysentery or anything else, unless you view mankind as a plague that needs wiping out. To review, there are, quote, good phages and, quote, bad phages. The good phages kill bacteria for you. The bad phages make them into poison factories. Streptococcus plus a bad phage equals strep throat and scarlatina. Staphylococcus plus a bad phage equals flesh-eating necrosis. Clostridia plus a bad phage equals tetanus. Clostridia plus a bad phage equals botulism. Clostridia plus a bad phage equals gangrene. Clostridia plus a bad phage equals dysentery. Cholera plus a bad phage equals dysentery. Diphtheria plus a bad phage equals pseudomembrane across the throat. Pertussis plus a bad phage equals whooping cough. Oh shit, no need for a DPT shot, is there? Think of all that lost opportunity to create autism if Felix de Arel's idea was implemented 100 years earlier. Immunity by phage, like disease itself, is infectious. 100 years ago, where would we be if they weren't lying to us, trying to kill us? There is an angry vegan movement out there that is militant about uh, killing animals and eating them. I wonder, because I don't have time to review any of that material, if any of them cover the carnage in vaccines. 
You see, one of the reasons that we are all fucked up nearly beyond repair is from fetal bovine serum in vaccines. Here's a test. If angry vegans were really against the use of animals, then there should be an instant viral, if you will, outcry against vaccines because that is shooting dead baby cows right into people. But that will probably not happen. One, because that movement, like all controlled opposition, was probably not spontaneous, but sponsored to create a dialectic and divide meat eaters and vegans. Two, because of fear. You see, it is one thing to rail against ritual temple slaughter and selling the waste to the unsuspecting public as they participate in a black magic's ritual but a whole nother thing to go against the very root of the power structure that set up the ritual slaughter in the first place. See, it's the phages that are in control. They dominate the world. They outnumber you. They outmass you. They outthink you. Think a phage can't tell a host what to do? Have you never watched a single zombie parasite video? Get to work. I don't have time for slackers. Reason three is because if you attack the very power structure of the illusion you call the world you live in, then your channel might be taken down and you might even be taken out. The topic is that big and far reaching. Consider me. I've been at this for eight years working behind the scenes and on this military communications network called the internet. But like Mark Phillips on the Kathy O'Brien video, transformation of America said anything in transportation and communication is run by the CIA the company nice corporate association there can bottleneck marginalize and edit anything they don't want out there with the brain the size of a planet I should be as big as any of the superstar names out there on the worldwide speaking circuits but my guess is you've never even heard of me while folks are blowing 12-stranded DNA, reptilian interdimensional aliens, demons, God, Jesus, and Buddha up your skirts to distract you from the single topic that I just told you about, only I and a number that you can count on your hand of folks have even mentioned that this unseen force that puppeteers mankind. Let's do a tiny comparison of what I'm talking about to see if I'm even close. Phages, unseen entities. Demons, unseen entities. Phages, invade host and takes it over, a form of possession. Demons, invades host and takes it over, a form of possession. Phages are evil. Demons are evil. Phages create death and destruction. Demons create death and destruction. Phages are legion. Demons are legion. Yep, sounds to me like we don't need religion or politics to save the world. It sees evil has a biological solution. Another good reason to shit can the idea that there are more of us than there are of them. So what are we left with? The internet is full of cockamamie ideas with no solutions. Lots of information, false hope, and fruitless pursuits. All you need to know is that you were lied to by the keepers of the viral pets. The idea of a pseudo-species shows that you can have minor variations like that of influenza that keeps it pestering humankind, and that is what fraudulent science focuses on. If we could only make the next vaccine to the ever-changing proteins on the outer coat of the viri, then we could get the upper hand. There is a survival cassette of genes in all life forms, without which they cannot exist. Take them out at the power station and the lights go out for good. What's eating you? Something that you have never seen, probably never heard of until today, so your mission is to get it to stop, for good. It will take dedication and knowledge and action. It looks like you're going to have to study molecular biology. 
you're only 86 years behind the competition. Gives new meaning to the phrase, been 86 You're going to have to apply the principles of Sun Tzu from the art of war. Know yourself. Know your enemy. Expect the unexpected. Let me know when you're ready for dinner. <laughs>